Hello, preschool friends. Hello. All right, we are here with five little penguins slipping on the ice. This story is written by Steve Metzger and it's illustrated by Laura Bryant. And this kind of is like our five little monkeys book. In this book, they do more than jumping. So I want you to pay attention to the actions that they do. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five cute little penguins. And look, Miss Megan has five cute little penguins. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Five little penguins slipping on the ice. Do you see them? Oh, oh, oh. They're slipping. Can you slip? Slip, 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 slip. Oh, One fell down. Ouch. That's not nice. Oh. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> the mother called the doctor and the doctor said, no more penguins slipping on the ice. So now we have four little penguins. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four little penguins sliding near a tree. Do you see them? Ooh, they're sliding. One fell into the icy sea. <laughs> the mother called the doctor and the doctor said, no more penguins sliding near a tree. Three little penguins skating all around. Oh, they're skating. Can you skate? One, two, three. One, two, three. Three little penguins skating all around. One flew up and then fell down. <laughs> there he went. The mother called the doctor, and the doctor said, No more penguins skating all around. How many are left? Two. One, two. Two little penguins playing on a hill. One slipped off and banged her bill. Oh, there. Oh. The mother called the doctor, and the doctor said, No more penguins playing on a hill. Oh, poor penguins. One little penguin jumping very high. Oh, he's jumping. Broke the ice and began to cry. <laughs> oh, the mother called began to cry. The mother called the doctor and the doctor said, no more penguins jumping very high. Now, there's no little penguins having any fun and no little penguins, not even one. The mother called the doctor and the doctor said, look, they're all sitting on the couch with their mother. Let those penguins have some fun. Fun. There they are again. One, two, three, four, five. Now they're out playing and skating and going down the hill. All right. So within that book, there were lots and lots of good prepositions, which are position words. So I thought I'd just show you a few. Oopsie. Um, you can do this with anything that you have at home. We just have a bowl. So you can talk about the penguin being near the bowl, like the penguin that was when they were ice skating around and near the tree. You can talk about objects being on things or on top of things. So here we have the penguin on top of the bowl. You can talk about, oh goodness, things being in. So the penguin is in the bowl. You can have things between. 
So here the penguin is between the two bowls. And um, some other concepts that were discussed in the book were um, near again. So these two penguins are near each other. And then we can do the opposite and have it be far. So the penguins are far from each other. Um, I think that's all really that was discussed in that book. You can do um, these things just like by bringing objects over or you can also do it like if you wanna play hide and seek with an object. So you can hide, you know, like a bear or something under the chair, or under a table or in a box. Um, and see if your child can find it, that makes it fun, and then tell you where they found it. Um, that's also fun, and if they need choices, you could give them choices and say, did we find the bear on the chair or under the chair? That sort of thing. All right. Thanks for joining us today. Bye. Bye.